Few characters in The Force Awakens are more intriguing than Rey, the mysterious yet powerful scavenger. As the next Star Wars film is also led by a young brunette woman, many fans are wondering whether these two characters are connected. Is Rogue One's Jyn Erso really Rey's mother? And are Lucasfilm setting up a family legacy to rival that of the Skywalkers? Let's break down the theory. Let's just get this over with, shall we? Rey and Jin speak in a British RP accent used for people from the Central Planets. While Jin may have grown up on a Central Planet, Rey grew up on Jakku on the Outer Rim. Daisy Ridley's own accent differs from Rey's. We're both brought up in London. But she was told to change it for The Force Awakens. Could this be so Rey and Jin sounded the same? I am the father. Family has always been a core theme of the Star Wars saga. And while we've seen a lot of the Skywalkers, expanding on the Urso family The message was sent by your father. could be a way to tie the newer films together. Using Rogue One as the origin story of Rey's mother would connect it to Star Wars Episode Eight, allowing the audience to emotionally invest in Rey's mother before Rey learns her identity. But she may already be walking in Jin's footsteps. Rogue One will feature a flashback scene to Jin's childhood, as her father Galen, played by Mads Mikkelsen, tries to protect her from death troopers. We caught a glimpse of this scene in the sizzle reel, as well as in this promo picture. That's Jin's doll the death trooper is holding, and it's strikingly similar to Rey's rebel pilot doll in The Force Awakens. Did Jin make both dolls? Okay, this is where things get tricky. Rogue One is set just before A New Hope, which means Jin would be about 50 years old during The Force Awakens. If she had kids, it's likely she would wait until after the war was over, possibly settling with other rebel fighters. So far, so good. But why would she leave her child on Jakku? Rey's abandonment happened when she was about five years old, coinciding with Kylo Ren's massacre of the Jedi students when he was just 15 years old. If Jin discovered Rey's Force sensitivity, it's possible that she hid Rey to protect her from Kylo Ren. But why would she leave Rey alone and vulnerable? Maybe Jin was luring Kylo Ren away from Jakku, or she intended to return but was killed before she could. That's a mystery yet to be solved by later films. And finally, the most simple piece of evidence we have is the physical similarity between Jin and Rey. Lucasfilm chose to cast someone who looked strikingly similar to Daisy Ridley. Why? Well, there's a handy theory to explain that. And you've just listened to it. <laughs>